What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my Queer Lit Readathon TBR. Queer Lit Readathon is a readathon that I love participating in every time it comes around. I just love it. I love reading queer books, so it is a perfect opportunity to do so. This was created by Kathy and Rogan. I will have all of the links down below if you would like to participate. It is happening from May 31st to June 6th, and I have a quick announcement that on June 6th at 3 p.m., I'm going to be hosting a virtual Pride on my channel. Because of the state of the world, Pride has been canceled this year, so I decided to just run my own, and I'm very excited. If you would like to watch live, you definitely can, and if you would like to become a host and just be live and talking about queer books and all that kind of stuff. So I would love if you would tune in as a viewer or if you would like to become a host I have a link down below to a google form this basically just helps me organize everything and get everyone's emails and just be able to organize the whole event if you are going to be a viewer and you have discussion questions definitely comment them down below I'm trying to get some discussion questions and I just want to know what you would like to see us talk about in a live show I'm so excited for this I hope that you will be able to join us if not it will be on my channel archived so you'll be able to see it after it is aired. Since June is Pride Month, I am going to be dedicating the whole month to reading queer books, as always. The readathon has a bingo board, so I'm going to try and fill out the bingo board. This is my favorite thing every month, and that is why I'm not doing a TBR game for the month of June, just because it's basically a game. Bingo is a game, so I can count that as my TBR game. I'll also be finishing up my summer classes. I always have fun doing the bingo board, but I never actually plan out a bingo. I just put all the challenges together, find books, and then I bingo later. So here are all the books I'm planning to read for the next round of Queer Lit Readathon. The first book I have is Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar, and this is checking off the two challenges, the question marks, which I'm using for a trans or non-binary main character, and a bi or pan main character because Felix is bisexual. This is about Felix, and he's a trans guy, and it is all about his catfish story, basically. Um, someone outs him online or outs him to the whole school, and he goes undercover as a catfish. I love this cover because of the flower crown but also because of the top surgery scars. I just read Stay Gold and it was amazing and I'm just excited to read more of the trans YA that is coming out this year so I am very excited to read Felix. The next book I have is The Brightsiders by Jen Wilde. I actually started 30 pages of this last year but never got around to finishing it so I'm very excited for this one. I really enjoyed their debut Queens of Geek. This is checking off a couple challenges. Backlist title because it came out in 2018. Queer Friends because we have a lot of queer characters in this because it's about band. There's a gender queer character. The main character is on the LGBTQ plus spectrum and I don't know what else but I'm sure that there's queer friends in this. And Host Rec because I was watching one of Rogan's videos and he recommended this. This is a tentative TBR but I would love to get to Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas and this would also work for Host Rec because I know Kathy recommended it. I started some of this but I just wasn't in the place to read about death and I think I'm feeling a lot better and I think that I'll be able to read it. I would love to pick it up for the readathon but don't quote me on that. The next book has a rainbow cover and it's nonfiction. and this is Not a Tomboy by Casper J. Baldwin. This is a trans memoir and I'm really excited. Look at that cover. It's gorgeous. It's rainbow. I'm very excited. This has a stunning rainbow cover and I've had it on my TBR for a while now and I'm excited to finally get to it. The next book I have is Darius the Great is Not Okay and Adriana from Perpetual Pages sent this to me for my birthday so thank you so much to them. I watched their video hyping it up and I'm very excited to read it. I don't know what challenge it is going to complete. I put it for queer sports because when I looked at the synopsis on Goodreads it told me there was soccer involved so we'll see. I think I'll just read this and then be able to tell what category it'll go in. But if you've read it and you know what challenge it completes on the bingo board, definitely let me know. Next for my ebooks, I have The Mighty Heart of Sunny St. James by Ashley Herring Blake. And this is for a book with disability rep and a five-star prediction. I read Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World and I absolutely loved it and gave it a five-star. So I imagine that I'm going to give this a five-star. It is about Sunny St. James who gets a heart transplant, so that's why I'm using it for disability representation. Next is to read a work of poetry. I have a couple in mind, but I haven't set one yet. So I'll let you guys know in my vlog what I choose. And the last two prompts, I'll 
I'll be reading is to read a book with a female over 40 and a graphic novel and I'll be reading Bingo Love. I saw this recommended on Twitter and I'm just so excited to read it. It sounds so good. So that is my tentative TBR for the Queer Lit Readathon. Let me know what you're reading if you will be and all of the information to my virtual pride will be linked down below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you next time.